What happens when a Merlin Minot wannabe, a high school jock, a neurotic nerd, and a classic 1980s valley girl combine forces with their slightly bonkers theater director to produce Shakespeare's King Lear in Japanese as Grand Kabuki? Well, we're about to find out. Competition piece by John Wells. <laughs> lights, please! <laughs> Can I get some lights, please? Thank you. Now, I suppose you all know why you are here. To share our love of theater. I see Callie's here, and Ellie too, Laura. And, well, who are you? Uh, my name's Brad. Yes, but why are you here? Uh, the principal's making me. Wonderful. Well, now that we have that established, let's get to the matter at hand. Doing a play. For this year's one act festival, I have chosen one of Shakespeare's most classic tragedies, King Lear. <laughs> to be performed in the style of Grand Kabuki. Kabuki, isn't that like... Japanese. <laughs> but what if I don't know how to speak Japanese? How can I be the lead if I can't speak Japanese? I have arranged for a special tutor who will teach you all how to speak Japanese. <laughs> Wait a minute! You're telling me that we're gonna have to take one of Shakespeare's most greatest plays, reduce it into a 30 minute one act, translate it to Japanese, learn how to speak Japanese, and perform it all in the style of Grand Kabuki? All in six weeks? It will require a bit of dedication on your part. <laughs> dedication? What do I live here? You mean like eat here? Sleep here? Take showers here? You mean like live here? Well, of course. What about our friends and family? Oh my god. Unnecessary distractions. I know my boyfriend will like totally dump me if I don't see him for like six weeks. Will you stop your whining? I offer you the opportunity of a lifetime. And you question me with trivialities? What is your spirit? Your dedication to art? Uh, sounds doable. Graham, aren't you crazy? What are you, Elliot? A drama wimp? Or a drama stud? A stud, but no buts. Well, Kelly, your friends are all losers. Who needs them? And your family won't miss you because you're annoying. And Laura, if your boyfriend dumps you, well, uh... There's always Elliot. <laughs> so, do you do this thing or what? Well, I guess it could be fun. I might. But, did you mention who got the lead yet? Because I was just wondering. Now, when you all settle down, I'll announce the cast. What? Don't you have to, like, think about it or something? Elliot, to the true artist, thinking always takes a backseat to inspiration. Now, the part of Gargoyle will be played by Laura, and the part of Edgar, Edwin, and Albany and Kent will all be played by Elliot. <sighs> all of whom speak Japanese, I presume. Of course. And the part of Cordelia will be played by Kelly. Mrs. Melanie, is she the lead? Well, see, she has fewer lines than the other sisters, and she's on stage less. But yes, Kelly, she is the lead. I got the lead. I'm, like, so happy for you. <laughs> when you all settle down, we all know the real work comes during the rehearsals. Now I want you all to put these blindfolds on and move about the stage to whatever your heart takes you. 